So here we've got my brand new Bosch water source heat pump. This is a really nice unit. It's tough to find high quality water source heat pumps in these terminal units, uh, but this Bosch is a nice one. If you've got one of those nasty Island Airs or one of the old Daikins, you should check out these Bosches. I got it from Surplus City Liquidators. It was, uh, I think, $750, so worth it. Uh, let's just take a look at some of the things that makes this unit so much nicer than the others. Um, it's all normal, all the normal stuff you'd expect to see. The compressor, though, is really nicely mounted. Besides just having the rubber bushings between the compressor and its bottom plate, the bottom plate also has this foam underneath it and another set of rubber bushings. So the compressor is completely isolated from the frame of the unit. Makes a big difference. You can barely hear this thing when it's running. You hear the whoosh of the wind coming out of it, but you don't really hear the compressor humming like you do. Um, some of the crappier units will transmit that compressor noise down into the base of the unit and it goes down into the floor. Um, I know the people above me have one because I can hear every time it turns on because it shakes my ceiling. Uh, another really nice feature, it has a built-in AC disconnect here, which is just nice for working on it. Uh, and then, really nice feature over here, the fans are super nice. And if you have to work on the fans, it's like a cartridge, it just slides out. There's no unscrewing or disassembling anything. You just take out this whole cartridge and you can work on it, replace it, whatever you need to do. One thing that did happen on mine is that during shipping, because this motor is so heavy, it must have gotten banged downwards and that motor bent this, um, this shelf right here. So I had to bend it back. So if you do buy one of these, check right here. And if it's bent, just bend it back up or else you're gonna have air escaping through here and you're gonna have extra um, flex on those axles that you don't want. So that's it, new Bosch unit, really happy with it. I've been looking for a nice water source heat pump for a long time. I'm gonna be buying a bunch of these. So if you want them, you should beat me to it. I think they only have like 50 left. Um, I'll put a link to where I got it in the comments below. Just wanna add another really nice feature that I found out the hard way about. Uh, this unit has a overflow sensor on the condensate tray right here and it's really a nice nicely designed thing it's got a little set screw so you can set how deep it goes so you can decide how much condensate it takes before it shuts off when it does shut off because it senses condensate or when there's any kind of an error condition the controller board is also really nice it has a blinking LED like a lot of the controller boards do but in addition it has a relay that clicks and so you can count how many clicks it is without taking the whole unit apart to get a look at that LED and another really nice feature that I don't understand why every unit in the world does not have this is printed on the console is this cheat sheet that has all the different errors and I was hearing four clicks which was condensate uh, tray overflow fault so I was really grateful for that um, my condensate hose just was a little bit too high and so it couldn't drain if I had not known about that there would have been water on the floor by the time I woke up tomorrow morning so Thanks for that thoughtful feature, Bosch. Really appreciate it.